In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I stop pretty much every shotgun run in Madden 22 with one defense that you can use that's also very good against the pass. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players I can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit subscribe down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite shotgun run defense out of my nickel 335 odd defense. Now if you're new to the channel, you haven't gotten the 335 odd defensive guide yet, I want to encourage you to do that. It's just 15 bucks. I put a link in the description to go get it. All you got to do is go down in the description, click that link, it'll take you right to the website. And you can pick up this 335 odd defensive guide for literally just 15 bucks. And this is the best defense in the game. It gets the best pressure. Um, it has the best coverage that I've been able to put to cook up. And it also is able to get pressure in a lot of different ways. It can actually get pressure sending only two people at the quarterback, as well as it can get pressure sending as many as seven people against max protect. The beauty of the two man pressure is that it also comes in against a blocked running back. So, um, you just are going to have some really great blitzing concepts. We're teaching, uh, we're working right now on a major update to our zone coverage scheme out of this and kind of building some new coverage concepts as well. One of the things I do want to let you know about is a lot of people have asked me, you know, Cody, what about updates um, or what about patches? What if they patch the blitz? Well, what my commitment to you is for the life of this guide, if they ever patch anything that we need to cover, whether it be they change the zone coverages or they change the way blitzing works or they whatever, we will cover that in an update video for you. So you're not only going to get a guide that is good today, but it's going to be good throughout the rest of the season. So I would encourage you to get this one time purchase of 15 bucks and um, it's the best defense in the game. A lot of people that have get, gotten this guide have really just kind of shared with me that this has been the best thing they've been able to do on defense as far as getting stops. Um, it's way better, in my opinion, than what a lot of uh, people are doing right now at a 3-3-5 wide. And the main reason why is because of what I'm about to show you as far as how good of a run defense this actually is and how good the pressure comes in with only sending two to three people. So anyways, uh, if you want to get the guide, there's a link in the description. But I just wanted to go over how to stop shotgun runs out of this. So LB cross three, show two. What you're going to do is you're just going to show blitz, uh, spread your line, crash your line down. Now real quick, when you show blitz this year, what I like to do is I like to always shade coverage outside and shade coverage up. I think that helps a little bit with the bombs. So you're not going to get bombed as much. Then you're going to grab this guy right here, and you're going to put him right over this guard right here in this pocket. And all you're going to do is if you see the run, you're just going to run right down in the middle. So I just run right down the middle here, and this is you're going to see right there we missed the tackle, but still only held him uh, held him to a gain of only four. Now typically what's going to happen uh, what's going to happen with this defense is almost every single time you're going to see that if you stand in the right gap and really penetrate on the run you're going to see here that's going to happen right there where that that uh, that backer is going to come over uh, that looping rusher is going to come in free basically against the run now i might be standing a little bit too close to the center so i'm going to back up just a little bit again all you're trying to do is just create that little push and sometimes you'll need to click on so like if i wanted to um, the other thing that you could do, if you if you click on, it almost always will give you um, the right guy. So click on, and you see here it gives me David, and then I can run through, and as you see, we're holding him to a gain of one. Now, some shotgun formations are a little better than others. Um, as, as you can see, the doubles offset is a pretty good formation uh, for inside zone. But a lot of people like to run the ball out of, like, trips tied in. Maybe trips tied in quick base or trips tied in uh, inside zone. So I want to show you how this works against that uh, that offense. So against strip side and offset, as you can see right here, uh, we're going to just continue to kind of hold that line real smooth, real simple. Now, really quickly, a little pro tip on this is if you're getting ran on, like if you're getting ran on a lot, just drag these safeties in just a little bit. And then instead of standing right here, stand right here. And if you stand right here, what you'll see is now you really are going to confuse that offensive line and you're going to be able to kind of blow this run up. Uh, again, I find a lot of success with this and in, in mutt, uh, especially with you know having a little bit faster of a player to do this with. But as you can see, I can just come right down the middle, and the inside zone is just not a great look against this defense because you have so many people in the middle of the field, and your job is to shoot the gap between the center and the guard. So you see right here, I'm just shooting right down in that gap, 
and there they blocked okay, and they still only got about five to six yards. So I feel really good in this run defense. Let me um, let me audible over to another formation and run the ball out of the bunch tight end. Um, so bunch tight end here, as you can see, nothing really changes as far as how the defense would defend this. But I just want to show you, if we get a bunch tight end look, again, just run straight down here, and that's more of what you'll see. Now, in this video, because of regs, Levante David doesn't have the agility. But what I've been seeing in Mutt is because we can put a safety in those positions down there, we're going to actually get really good agility, change of direction, and all of that stuff. And so what I've found is that this is a great way um, for you to be able to stop to be able to stop the run because um, you're going to be able the looper is almost always going to come in clean here you'll see a little rpo and as you can see right there that looper comes in and takes away the inside zone run so you know really inside zone is not a great run i want to see if i have a base in these audibles here let me see out of the gun out of the shotgun runs i'm sure i do um i know i have a base somewhere let me grab one real quick for you here we go rpo base um, so if you get this, what you want to do, if you get a look like this right here, you just want to flip your play. Um, so you see at the line of scrimmage, maybe they audible over, just flip your play just like this. Now the looper is going to be on the other side, okay, uh, which is really good because you want him to be opposite side of the running back so he can run to the running back. So snap the ball. I run down, straight down. And as you can see there, we just missed the tackle, but we're kind of in that same, you know, kind of in that same area. Um, I want to go over two more runs. I want to go over the RPO trap, and then I want to go over the halfback base out of gun bunch. So uh, let me just quickly grab uh, the halfback base, and then let me quickly grab the uh, RPO RPO trap. Now, if you get a read option, what I want to let you know real quick is if you get a read option run, all you want to do is just put your option defense on conservative in your coaching adjustments. I can't do that in practice mode. But if you do that, then you're going to be just fine against that that kind of run. Okay, so this is RPO trap. Um, so as you see here, I'm just going to shoot down on my gap. And typically that safety will come right down and make the play for you. Um, RPO trap's not something that I get a lot. Especially, you know, with this, if I sit kind of right in here uh, against the trap run, you see it's a lot easier for me to just kind of hold the gap. And I don't really get a lot of trap this year. I don't find that trap is the best way to play. I think inside zone is a little harder to stop. But anyways, um, so here you see, so now I'm just going to flip the play and then get the other linebacker, bring him down right in the gap here. Base, um, as you can see, base is probably a little bit better, but you see how slow developing base is. Oftentimes your players will come down and will basically handle it for you. Um, so that's one of the other things that I really like about this defense. But anyways, like I said, you're just kind of kind of getting right in here. You see base. Okay, I'm just going to go right through here. And you see that looper come in. Now, he did pick him up, and that probably would have been a little bit of a decent game. But all in all, I feel like this is going to be a very effective run defense for the duration of the season, um, just as far as defending shotgun runs. Another little thing that you can do, like I said, don't underestimate the power of bringing these guys into the box. I really think it's important this year to bring those safeties down um, as low as possible. And so then you see here, that's what we're going to get most of the time. So that's really solid shotgun run defense for you. If you want to learn the entire defense and run how to run the entire defensive system that we've developed out of this 3-3-5 odd in the Giants playbook, as well as we've got other concepts out of Big Nickel or 2-4-5 uh, double A gap or 2-4-5, whatever, the beauty of this uh, defensive guide is that it's in the form in our playbook that has a lot of other really good defensive formations. So that being said, if you want to learn how I run this entire defense, I would encourage you to pick up my 335 odd defensive guide. This also has exclusive content on Big Nickel. So it's kind of a Big Nickel and a 335 odd defensive uh, game plan for you. But if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description. So just go down to the description below and you can click on that link. It'll take you right to the website and where you can get all squared away. It's super easy uh, to get checked out there. So again, just go grab it. Uh, I would really encourage you to do that. You get an email as soon as you get it with the, with the guide download. So anyways, guys, I'm just a big fan of this defense right now. I think it's the best way to be playing Madden, and I would just encourage you, if you want to learn how to do it, uh, grab that defensive guide. We go into a lot of detail, not only on blitzing, but also we go into a ton of detail on coverage and specifically how to stop things like gun bunch and trips tight in and new trips and bunch tight in and spread some of the popular stuff that you're going to see online so thanks for watching this video and if you want to get that defensive guide just go down to the description and click the link that'll take you right to the website